the Sphinx is the Phoenix. The Phoenix rising from the ashes is the Sphinx arising from the collapse of Babylon, the collapse of Rome, which is the collapse of capitalism as we know it. So if you look at this, this the Phoenix, you'll see that the consonants, the BHNX, are the same in both worlds. So written on a stelae or one of these ancient stones, the PHNX was the religion, unifying religion of the world, the Sphinx, which had the head of a man and the body of a lion. Now the, the nose of the, lion, of, the, of the man was blown off by the French apparently because it, it was a negroid nose and they didn't want the poor white slaves to know that the blacks were there originally uh, superior than before. Now the Sphinx is on the 30th parallel and all these holy cities are on the 30th parallel. Erech for the Sumerians, Persepolis for the Persians, Harappa for the um, in the Indus uh, civilization 3000 BC, in Lhasa, you know, for the Tibetans, Angkor Wat. So the Sphinx, now the, so the Sphinx arising from the ashes of the collapse of Babylon is the collapse of all these um, all this structure, this edifice of contracts, I suppose, really, or it's, I'm not sure what's going to be left, but the, the Sphinx arises from the ashes, which is the Lion of Judah, Rastafari. Now, Rastafari said that the Christians and the Muslims must unite to defeat the enemy. At a simple level, the Christians and the Muslims can unite, because Abraham is a Brahmin. We're all Hindus. Abraham, the God of Abraham, is Brahman, the God of the Upanishads, the Self, the Shining Self. The Christians and the Muslims must unite to defeat the enemy. But the Christians and the Muslims are, are, are at war. The Christians are being, you know, reliving crucif crucifixion, getting PTSD, and then being sent in on some idea of sacrifice. The Muslims. I've got this same idea of sacrifice and this so the Christians and Muslims are dividing mankind in this insane war and bloodbath you know of ordinary human beings do not be deceived do not be deceived in the religion of love there are no believers and no unbelievers love embraces all so these two religions, where you, you know what I mean, one says the other are infidels, and the other says the other are damned. You know, well, I'm a damned in, in, infidel, damned infidel. <laughs>